what's going on YouTube it's your boy Min and we're back again with another video to how to trade NFTs on the Solana blockchain and what tools and apps you kind of need to access the NFT marketplace and you know carry out transactions I was getting a few questions about whether um, new users to the NFT space should go on Ethereum first or go to Solana and if so how does one work the Solana marketplace so first thing I'll say it's a very straightforward easy process it's not very difficult to get on the Solana blockchain and utilize the full potential of the NFT marketplace there. It's an emerging marketplace, so it's not going to have as much volume, not as many projects as Ethereum, but that kind of gives way for the potential for hidden gems. You can go in and out of projects as you wish, whereas on Ethereum, because the gas fees are becoming a little bit ridiculous and that you're paying almost $100, $200 for a transaction just to list your items, buy something, make a bid, it starts adding up and if you're new to the nft space you're not going to want to be spending over a thousand dollars just to figure out how to use the marketplace so for that reason you know i think solana is a great alternative to the ethereum ecosystem for the time being and there's a lot of great projects on there so without further ado let's get right to it well the first thing you're going to need is to get a phantom wallet this is a web extension or a google chrome add-on and essentially this is where you will Hold your Solana, you will use this wallet to interact with any of the NFT marketplaces. Here you will pretty much just add the Phantom Wallet app as an extension to Chrome. You're going to add extension and it's fairly straightforward. Um, when you set up the wallet, it's going to prompt you to take in. It's fairly straightforward. Um, the first piece that's going to ask you is to either you know create a new wallet or use a secret recovery phrase so if you haven't worked with wallets before in the past basically all of your wallets are going to be saved to a secret recovery seed phrase every single cryptocurrency wallet whether it be hot cold any wallet will always have a secret recovery phrase you only get it one time during the creation of the wallet so it is highly recommended that you write it down somewhere that you won't lose it and so you go right into it and you create a new wallet you will get a secret recovery phrase. Just gonna say, okay, I saved it somewhere. I'm gonna copy it and put it in my notes tab just because they might ask you a question. And in relation to the wallet that you um, associate with your account, you're gonna have to make a password. So here, let's make a quick password. Agree to search. Da, 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 da. And boom. You're done and then pretty much you have it here you would just have to pin it to your chrome extension bar and voila you have your phantom wallet so the next thing you have to do is essentially you have to add some solana to this phantom wallet solana is going to be the main token used in the solana ecosystem so whether you want to purchase nfts make transactions do anything within the solana ecosystem you have to use Solana. This will pay for your gas fees and things of that nature. So the first place I would always recommend is you have to go to an exchange to buy Solana and then send it over to your wallet. Um, Coinbase is a popular exchange in the United States that I personally use, but you also have the option to use Binance, FTX, pick an exchange, send the coins over. If you don't have a Coinbase account, I can give you a referral code. And if you want to go ahead and just put $100 on that account, me and you will both get $10. And you know, if you don't want to spend $100, just withdraw it back to your account or buy Solana and then take it from there. But essentially, once you set up your Coinbase account or FTX or whatever exchange you want to use, you're going to go to the buy area. And so once you go to the buy area, you're going to just switch the coin that you are looking to buy and switch that over to Solana. You will buy X amount. Uh, like I said, if you do $100, we'll both get $10. And then once you essentially have that amount, you're going to look, send it to your wallet. So find where your wallet is. And so right here, I don't actually have any Solana on my Coinbase account. I think I just have some Ethereum. But you will take that coin. And so Ethereum, for example, but pretend this is Solana. And you will go to send over here. And full disclosure, um, this is much, much easier to do on an app on your phone. So I do recommend just doing this all on your phone. The online website version is a little finicky, but back to the point, you essentially type in how much money you want to send, say $100, and you're going to send it to right here. And this is going to be where you put your Phantom Wallet address. When you go back to your Phantom Wallet on the extension over here, this is your wallet address. So boom, you click that copy and you paste it here. And then 
you put whatever amount and this should be solana and then you send it over once you essentially have some solana in your phantom wallet then you will go to an nft marketplace um the biggest one at the moment is solana art io and pretty much you're going to connect your wallet here this is how you connect your phantom wallet to the nft marketplace you connect and then this will connect your phantom wallet to um the nft marketplace so here you're just gonna have to sign in this is what the password you created earlier not your seed phrase your seed phrase will only be used to recover your account or load an existing wallet but once you connect your wallet to the nft marketplace you'll see that your balance is displayed there. You can also click this and you'll be able to see the Solana you have. And boom, now you can pretty much go into any of these projects and begin purchasing some NFTs. It's that simple. Um, it's not difficult at all to get the extension, uh, send over some coins, and then you know play around with the marketplaces. Um, I recommend if you're new to the NFT space, especially in Solana, uh, dive right into crypto Twitter, make a Twitter account, and then start following some notable influencers, people in the space who've been here for a while, or those just any of the projects that you're interested in, um, you know, follow them, look out for highlights and updates, maybe join a discord, get interacted with the community, because that, from my experience, is the best way to find hidden gems and new projects to potentially invest in. And, you know, for example, this is Soul Punks. You can always go to the Twitter account for Soul Punks, give them a follow, and then look at who they're talking to. Look at the interactions they hold, and then start following people. Start talking, reach out to people, you know, ask for advice, ask questions. Really dive right into the community because that's what I think crypto is all about. And it really is that simple. You know, once you start getting an idea of what you want to invest in and what you're interested in, look around, um, see other viable accounts, give them a follow, and Pretty much that's all you need. Once you get that, you have your foundation of knowledge to kind of begin to invest in certain projects. You have your phantom wallet to connect to the Solana ecosystem. And then you get an exchange like Coinbase FTX to send over that Solana to your phantom wallet so you can use it to purchase NFTs. Well, that's the video today, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I just want to make a quick one. I had a lot of people asking questions about Solana and how to use Phantom Wallet. And, you know, there you go. It's a quick three-step process. I think this is an emerging ecosystem with a lot of good opportunities to come. And if you stay in the know actively on Twitter, following certain people, and going to different places to get information, then you'll be golden. Well, this is the video. Thanks again, guys. This is your boy, Mint. Stay tuned for the next video. Remember to like and subscribe. Show some support to the channel. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.